Hi. In this access database, we will learn how to deal with permission and give different permission access for the user in the database. In this very simple uh, example, uh, we have a database with four different permissions. I'm going to log in with one of the valid users. We have users who can access the HR, others for the training, third for the finance, and administrator for the database. Ahmed is an HR staff, so he can access the human resource form, but he can access the training, finance, or the database app. If I try with Kim, Kim is a database admin, so he can manage the users, but he can not access any other department. Now we will close this one and we will start from scratch. Before we start, we have to uh, determine the permissions we need. Then in the table of the users, we have to add option for the permissions we are going to give. In this example, we have four permissions. Some permission for the HR. I will make any permission as yes or no. So I can select if, if he's allowed to open this department or the database or no. So Another for the finance, I will use ACC as a shortcut. A third for the training, also yes or no. And a fourth for the database administration, also yes or no. So now for any users, we can determine the permission. So Ahmed is an HR, Hani is accountant, and let's say Kim is a database administrator, and Jeff is from the training department. Also, we have a four for the users, so we can imagine the users permissions. Users four. To get all the permission for the user who logged to the database, in the login screen, I'm going to add the field that indicates the permission. So, in this login screen, I'm going to add the ID, HR, counting, training, and the message. Once we open this login, by default, it will bring the first user's permission, who is Ahmed, who can access the HR. What we need, what we need to do now, once any user login, we need to get his permission here. To do so, I'm going to search for record if the user successfully logged to the database. So this is the login button. This is the code for the login. I'm going to uh, stop the opening for the main form and, and keep the login form displayed so you can see the result. So. If the user password was correct, this is equal to the password in the table user, I get the ID using DLOCKUP and put the ID in this field, which is a text box with ID as a name. I will use this ID to search for record in the current form, so I'm going to skip this formation. Also, I will skip the object name because I'm searching in this exact form. I'm searching for the first search result. My where condition is the ID in the table is equal to the ID in the form. That's it. Let's try. So, if I try to log in with Kim, if I remember, Kim is an admin, so Kim is the user number three, and he only can administrate the database. If I try to log in with Hany, Hany can only access the accounting or the finance department. Jeff, let's say the password is 111, and so on. So if I try with Jeff, He can only access the train. Of course, after we make sure the search is working, I will hide all this information. So 
So all this should be not visible. Okay. So we will go back to the uh, login code. And display the main form if the login is correct and hide the login form so now we are sure after the user uh, submit a login successfully uh, we can know his permission so what we will do in the uh, main form so let's add the code that check the permission in the main form in the login form and open this file form of course, we need two more buttons here. We need a button for administration, and we need a bus button for the logoff. So let's start with the human resource. If the user clicks in the human resource, it will check. Form is login HR. If this field is equal to zero, it means the user has no permission to access. So in this case, we will display a message box saying access denied. Otherwise, else we are going to open the form. So let's try with this one. Of course, we have to enter. So I'm going to log in with Ahmed, as Ahmed can access uh, the human resource department. Okay, but if I try to uh, log in with uh, Kim, if I try to access the human resource, he has access. Uh, we need to repeat the exact same code for the training, for the finance, for the admin. We can even copy and paste. So for the training, if we copy this code, control C and paste it here. Uh, this one is the training. Yeah, the training. So it will check the training permission in the login form. And accordingly, it opens the training form. So we have a training form here. If the user has permission to access, it will be open. For the finance, it will check the ECC, the shortcut for accounting, and it will open the ECC. For administration, it will check the field admin, and it will open the form users. Now we can try any of the users. Uh, I'll try Kim, so Kim can access uh, the users, but he cannot access the human resource, he cannot access the training department, he cannot access uh, the finance department. Uh, we still have one issue, if we try to log off direct to the login screen, we will find the last user login is still there, uh, so we need to clear this, so for the login, We have to close uh, the login form before we open the login form again. Sorry, we need the uh, code here. Uh, then we need to uh, do command to open form uh, the login form. Why we do so? To make sure if we use the login, we end up with a login screen uh, with no user permission, with no user name and password. Uh, that's it. You'll find the link to the link uh, database, the one with no code, and you'll find the link to the database final one with the code. Have fun.